Hi everybody, it's Lou Manfredini, Ace's Home Expert. Today we're gonna to talk about rabbits. I love rabbits. I'm a Bugs Bunny guy. I grew up watching Bugs Bunny cartoons and so I have nothing against rabbits. But what I do remember about Bugs Bunny is he lived underground. And chances are you can come out in your backyard and wonder, what's that hole that I have in my backyard and what's inside there living? Well, it can be a myriad of different rodents that are out there, but there's a good chance that you may have rabbits. Now, if you look closely right here in this hole, you can see a little evidence right here. This is fur. This is a little fur from a rabbit right there. You see that? And uh, there's a good chance that a rabbit is living inside there. Now, rabbits are cute. I got no problem with it, but they can do damage to your lawn. Certainly, they can put holes in there because they're living underground. If you have flowers, uh, they love marigolds. They're like ice cream cones to them. They eat them like crazy and a lot of different other plants. And they can spend a lot of time, if you're a gardener, uh, with fruits and vegetables damaging your garden as well. So trying to eliminate the issue of rabbits in your yard can be an important one to make sure that everything looks great. Um, they're not going to harm you, of course. They're just interested in the vegetation. So a couple of options. You locate a hole like this. As I mentioned, sometimes you can see that fur. Um, you know, rabbits are vegetarians. They're not eating any insects or anything in the lawn, although they may, but you wanna make sure that the pH level of your lawn is good. You got a nice, healthy green lawn. This lawn looks pretty well. This is a product called Shake Away. Now, Shake Away are these granules, and you can see there's a picture of a rabbit on there right there, and it has the odor of fox urine. Guess what rabbits don't like? They don't like foxes. And so, you can't smell this, but when you first take that off, whew, man, does that smell bad? And what you wanna do by this hole is go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of this granule around it. Even inside there, you can go in there as well. Then once you do that, I want you to take some newspaper, if you still get the newspaper, or some tissue paper, whatever, and just loosely put it inside the hole. Now you've kind of covered that up there, and what I want you to do is come and inspect that a couple times a day to see if that moves. If after about three or four days that doesn't move anymore, you know that those rabbits have figured out that they can't live there. Or, or actually, let me back up a little bit. If it comes out again, sprinkle this in, put it back in there again, and then after a couple days, if it doesn't move, you know that they've moved on. Now you can go ahead and fill that hole back in, maybe with a little gravel and then topsoil and then reseed it, and hopefully, those rabbits are like, hey man, there's a fox living in that backyard. We gotta find a different place to live. And that way your yard is rabbit free. If you've got questions or you'd like to make a comment, just put it at the bottom of this video.